Go get punched for the love club For the love club Hey guys, so just moments ago I was like in the verge of tears because I was just so bored and I really wanted to film for you guys. I had no idea what to film so I asked you guys on Instagram and I got a pretty good request which I will be working on. But I got one in particular that kind of caught my eye and kind of inspired this whole video. And somebody told me like, hey, mention some of the cool places you've been to or like some of the cool stuff you have. Hey, you know what? Might as well do that because I have not done a favorites video and might as well kill like five birds with one stone. So I'm going to be sectioning this video off into sections. I'll most likely have the sections listed here and if you don't want to see the makeup one just go ahead and jump into any of the ones that you would like to watch. But let's get started because I am just surrounded by goodies. So I'm going to start off with makeup. I'm going to be talking about my four favorite lipsticks. Three of them are high-end. One of them is just like a drugstore one. So I'm going to start off with my MAC ones. I got Heroin and Diva and I recently got these when I had my prom makeup done. MAC lipsticks are just one of those lipsticks that you know you will get great quality out of and just really good pigment. Every time I do wear these lipsticks, I just feel fearless and edgy and I feel like I can conquer the world. So these are my little bad girl or not I just feel pretty cool and pretty bad the next one is the one for makeup forever it's in the color round and right now it's been my go-to lipstick it's just this natural color it glides on very easily the only downfall to this is that I do have to apply it various times but nonetheless I don't mind because it's a little little mini size and I absolutely love it my third favorite is by Nick it's one of the butter sticks it's in the color snow cap and it's a nude color I've really been wanting some nude colors but I feel like all of them have like a brown undertone nude lipsticks with brown undertones just wash me out so I like them to have a little pink in them this is one of them and it's really inexpensive and cheap and it works well I feel like it works okay for me so it's one of my favorite nude lipsticks I have and I'm still on the hunt for the perfect need lipstick. So another makeup favorite has been the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I don't have really noticeable pores but I do feel like I do have them here and in my T-zone area kind of. I have heard really good things about it and it's Maybelline and I love Maybelline so I gotta stay true. When I try it on it's just so soft. It really reminds me of some silk. I feel like I'm touching silk. I notice the more you rub on it the better it works so if you guys are looking for a really inexpensive new um pore eraser um i recommend this one it's pretty good and the packaging is so cute so my last makeup favorite has been the mac fix plus finishing spray i got this again when i got my makeup done for my prom and i just really been wanting this one because i have a lot of can say cheap eyeshadows that are very pigmented so i know that if you spray some of this onto a brush and then go ahead and grab the eyeshadow it adds instant pigment, especially for, for shimmery ones. This was just a must-have. Also, when I'm wearing a makeup to an event and I want it to last longer, just spray some of this and I should be okay. So I really just wanted to invest in one of these. I know they stop they, they What is wrong with me today? Okay, so moving on to nails. So my favorite one out of all of them has been the one by Essie. It's in Limousine. And I've Instagrammed a couple pictures with this one. The only thing that I do not like about this one is that it's very sheer. So you have to add coat after coat after coat. But nonetheless, the outcome is amazing. And I so love it. It's very tumbler. And it's my favorite one by far. The next two, I got a Victoria's Secret. And this one's a Victoria's Secret Pink. This one's in the color Chill Out. And this one is in the color brighten up this one is just a pastel mint color it kind of reminds me of the winter what is it mint candy apple from Essie okay so that's this is like a dupe and but they cost the same so anyway this one's brighten up um, and it's just like a neon yellow and I thought it was really fun for like summer and now you guys can finally thank me you're welcome. I found a matte top coat from Claire's. I wanted to get a matte top coat for forever and I was actually going to order one online but it was kind of expensive so something told me, hold on Maria, hold your horses. I ended up finding one at Claire's and I was just... <sighs> so those were my top nail polishes you guys. I'll have a close up. You'll probably be staring at it by now. 
So now I'll just be talking about accessories slash decor. The first one is my phone case. This one's from Paxson. I think this phone case is just perfection. It's kind of a see-through phone case so you get to see the Apple from the iPhones. I just freaking love it. Another one of my favorites is right here. It's a candle and this one's by Price Candle and this is in the Aroma Escape but it smells like summer. Anyway one of the things that I found really cool about this candle is that once I burn it completely off I get to have a price. So pretty much there's a ring in there but according to the side it can be worth up to five thousand dollars. So I've really been loving this candle. If you guys want to check them out I'm going to have their link down below. Let's let it burn. So some of my favorite jewelry has been from Forever 21. I've noticed that they're very Brandy Melvish. And I'm talking about rings. And I just think they're great dupes. Don't get me wrong. Brandy Melville is beautiful. And I love their jewelry. But sometimes $4 for a ring can get a little pricey. Especially when you're stocking up on so many. So when another jewelry piece that I have been loving. But I haven't really been wearing. Because I'm just waiting on summer to come. Has been a body chain I got this one on eBay I saw some for like $10 and I was willing to go for it but I went on eBay and I got this one for a dollar and 20 cents maybe okay you guys might be able to see it right now wouldn't this look so cute like under your bathing suit and it was a dollar I like it even more Okay guys, so for all you fashionistas, the fashion portion has finally arrived. My first favorite have been these, what are they, like PJ pants? I don't know, but they're from Romwe and they're my favorite right now. They're so comfy and I just want to wear them every day. But you guys would obviously tell. So they have pockets here and in the back, but they're just fake. They're fake. Um, one of the things I really like is that it has a, an elastic here. They're very cute and they're my favorite. And if you want to get these, I'll link the link down below because they're my fave and it'd be cool if we're matching. My second favorite has been like this cover up slash kimono from Hollister. It's lace like this and wait for it. There's some fringe. I just feel like this goes with everything. I really just love the fringe. So those have been my top fashion picks right now. So the last section of this video have been my top favorite places and I'm actually going to talk about one that I went to today. It's called Blockheads. It's a snow cream shavery place. And if you're like, what the heck is snow cream? I don't know. <laughs> it's just like shaved ice cream and it's so awesome. Another level of eating ice cream and you guys know I'm an ice cream lover so this was paradise. The best way I can describe snow is kind of like Dippin' Dots but like shaved. You see how it, like it keeps its texture for a while and then it melts? That's pretty much the whole concept of it. Anyway, I had a green tea and original with rice cakes and condensed milk on it. And it's just my favorite right now. So if you guys have a Blockheads or any shavery snow cream shop, definitely try it out this summer. So that was it. See you later.